All right, all right, all right, all right. What's up, everybody? All my people in Manhattan, the Boogie Down Bronx, Queens, all the way up to Staten Island, my home world, Brooklyn. It's Boy 5 Bs versus everybody. I'm back here with another video. And there's going to be another entry into the greatest of all time series using an athlete. And that's this man right here. Pretty boy, Floyd Money Mayweather Jr. <laughs> Okay, guy okay, like okay. I'm just playing. I fucks with Floyd, man. I like Floyd Mayweather. You know, he's a dope, dope, great, legendary athlete. Floyd Mayweather, in my opinion, is the greatest athlete ever, post Michael Jordan. When I say post Jordan, I mean post '98. Okay, the Wizard years. You know, we ain't counting that. But you know, post '98, Floyd's really the greatest athlete ever. Okay, him. You know him, Tom Brady, Michael Phelps. Even Tiger Woods and even Barry Bonds to a degree. I put those guys in that class, okay? And a lot of people are going to say, what about Kobe? What about LeBron? What about Serena? Okay? Look, God bless them all, but, you know, I I personally can't. But, you know what? That, that's okay. That's another video for another day. Okay, but this is going to be interesting on Floyd Mayweather, okay? Last time I did a greatest of all time series on time is on athlete, Magic Johnson. It, last time I checked, I believe he's got three or four views. Okay? Not my lowest, but, you know. That'd be the Usher Raymond Grizz of all time video. So I guess I took y'all don't see no more R&B singers. If y'all want to see like R&B singers, like I said, this series isn't just for ath for rappers. It's for athletes, R&B singers, sports teams like the, you know, like the 98 Bulls, for example, or the 2017 Warriors, whomever. Okay, if y'all want to see, you know, whoever y'all want to see, comment down below, man. I'll do, I'll get, I'll try to get to it. I'm saying, but yeah, so this is, I'm going to try Floyd Mayweather. People Apparently, they like the Magic Johnson one, so let's try the Floyd Mayweather one, okay? Here's me for Floyd in the greatest boxer of all time, okay? Now, obviously, Floyd got into the game in 1996, you know, retired in 2015, came back to fight Conor, Mac, Conor McGregor in 17, and it's been over him since. Now, of course, there's been rumors about him getting a rematch with Pacquiao and Khabib, and he fought that little Japanese kickboxer on New Year's, I think it was last year. Or, yeah, I think it was last year, I don't remember, but. Yeah, but, you know, I don't think Floyd's getting back in the ring for real. I think Floyd's done. You know, he's 43 years old. He's a, I'm pretty sure he's a billionaire, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, hey, he's Floyd Money made with a reason, okay? Money talks. All right? And that's not just for Floyd. That's for everybody. Money talks, okay? While Floyd's great, well, Floyd Mayweather has defeated the most champions of any box in history, okay? And I'm going to prove that in a second on his little box wreck. But look at the records of the dudes he fought, okay, as opposed to Sugar Ray Robinson, uh, Guys like that. Like the thing is with Sugar Ray Robinson, he bought he boxed in an area where you could fight a dude, knock his ass out, and then fight his ass again like a week later. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You couldn't do that shit today, man. You gotta wait like a whole couple months or hell, probably a year to fight another dude. To fight that same dude again, man. Okay. Floyd didn't, obviously. Okay, so Floyd obviously didn't come in that era, so that's why Sugar Ray was like one twenty one and two at one point. I think his record overall now is like 135, 140, and something else. I don't, I don't really remember, but yeah, but obviously you see here Floyd's 50 and 0. He's fought, you know, and then you know the the Floyd haters, you know, led by Skip Bayless. <laughs> I like Skip Bayless, but you know, when it goes to Floyd, he be bullshitting. Some a lot of people he be bullshitting. But anyway, you know, you know, say, oh, Pacquiao was hurt. Pacquiao was old. Sugar Shane was old. Oscar was old. All these dudes were old, right? But the thing is, with Oscar, with first of all. Pacquiao, he's older than Pacquiao. He's a year, him and Pacquiao are a year apart. Oscar and him, I believe, are about four four years apart. Shane and him are same thing. I think about four years apart. You no, know, Zab Judah, I think Zab I think a year apart. I think Zab, actually, I think they're the same age. If I'm not mistaken, maybe a couple months apart. But you know, I don't think it's like years apart. But you know, I hear people make that say the bullshit like that. You know, and Floyd, he was a runner. He's not a knockout artist. Look. Look, not everybody's going to be Roy Jones Jr. in his prime or Mike Tyson or, you know, Duke, Duke it on that slug fest. You know, like in the Rocky movies or like Muhammad Ali, the thrill in Manila, the rumble in the jungle. Okay, did Ali, and this is the question I got to ask people, did Ali really win the, win the rumble in the jungle? Because at the end of the day, George Floyd is, I mean, not George Floyd, excuse me. George Foreman is still alive and kicking and make. And I don't know, I don't know how much money he's made off them grills, but he's selling grills, talking, normal, smiling, everything. At least spend the rest of his life being pimped out by all these big companies because he sold the rights to his name, and you know, 
while having Parkinson's disease. Okay. Okay, and I covered this in my latest video on my channel. Go woke, go broke. Coons have more fun. Okay, Muhammad Ali was woke and he went broke. Okay, he's not to disrespect Muhammad Ali. He's a legendary boxer, a legendary athlete. Okay, one of the most polarizing and influential and greatest athletes of the 20th century and of all time. But you know, just being real, <laughs> did he really win the rubble in the jungle when you, at the end of the day? Okay. Okay, that's not how you fight no dude, bro. Especially a dude like George Foreman, or George Foreman, who was basically the Mike Tyson of his era. Knockout artist, knockout king. Just use the rope of dope. Is that all you got? Is that all you got? And try to tie him out and shit. Okay, but, you know, back to Floyd. Obviously, you see Floyd here in the bed with all his, all that, those beautiful, beautiful, beautiful $100 bills. Ooh. Ooh, Lord, it's beautiful. But, yeah, Floyd didn't go for that. He went more smart approach. You know what I'm saying? You know, doing tactical things, you know. You know. <laughs> yeah, it's just, yeah, Floyd, of course, Floyd, he had great defense. Great defense, great offense. You know, he even been that knockout guy like Mike Tyson, like I said. But, you know, he he won his way. And like I said, he defeated the most champions of any boxer in history. I'm, I'm going to show you all that right now. Okay. This is a website called Box Rec. Okay, obviously his Floyd, many money, pretty boy, blah blah blah. Okay, look at the records of all these dudes Floyd fought, man. Obviously Conor McGregor, that was his technically his debut boxing fight, but you know, because Andre Berto was thirty and three, Pacquiao was fifty seven five, and again people like Skip Bayless and you know Trent Frazier said, oh Pacquiao was hurt and all that shit, whatever. No, he lost. Marcos Maidana thirty five and four, and then thirty five and three before that. Saul Alvarez, 42-0. Roberto Guerrero, 31-1. Miguel Cotto, 37-2. Victor, I remember that Cotto fight. And the Ortiz fight, 29-2. I think it was the first fight after Floyd got out of jail. For allegedly beating his baby mother, who passed away. And then Sugar Shane Mose. I watched all three of those fights with my pops, man. <laughs> it was Ricky Hatton, who was undefeated. Juan Manuel Marquez, who was 15-4. Oscar De La Hoya, who was 38-4. Once again, Oscar and Floyd are about three, four years apart. Okay, so it's not like it was like Oscar was 45 and Floyd was 30, 31, however old he was at that time. It's Ab Judah, my dude from, or excuse me. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all, I fucked up. <laughs> oh, wait, here we go. Okay, but it's Ab Judah, my fellow Brooklyn, he's 34 and 3. Look at all these dudes, man. All these dudes have under 10 losses when Floyd fought them all. Some of these dudes are undefeated. Look at this dude. Jesus Chavez, 35 and 1, man. Like I said, it's like Floyd Mayweather's fought the most world champions of any box in history. You gotta give him props for that. And he's the greatest athlete of his era. One of the most influential at least ever. He defeated the most champions, won the most championships, made the most money. Okay? Can LeBron say that? No. He's four and six to the finals. God bless his soul, Kobe Bryant. <laughs> you know? Serena Williams, you know. First of all, she's a woman, so I can't put her on the same level as men. Okay, I don't know how like the feminists might get mad at what I said. I don't give a fuck. All right? You know, Tiger Woods, of course, had a mental breakdown. And, you know, Michael, I mean, Michael Phelps. So, realistically, Michael Phelps, Barry Bonds, and, you know, uh, uh, who else? That Tom Brady are really on Floyd's level. He was the greatest athlete ever post-Jordan. Phelps, of course, got 23 gold medals. Brady, of course, six Super Bowl rings, four Super Bowl MVPs. But Floyd, I got to give it to Floyd Mayweather Jr. People say he's undefeated. Well, Floyd's an individual sport. Well, that ain't his fault. That ain't his fault. That's, that's how his sport is set up. He dominated his sport. Dominated his sport for 20 years. And, yeah, what do y'all think? Y'all think Floyd Mayweather was the greatest of all time? If not, comment down below. Who do you want to see a video on? If you like this video, you think, and you agree with me, you agree with me, like the video, you know. And let me say this real quick. My favorite fighter of all time will always be Roy Jones Jr. Always will be. I didn't see him box. And then box my ear, obviously, you know, I was born in the early 2000s. I didn't see Roy, but my pops, he 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 got me hooked onto Roy Jones Jr. So Roy's always been my favorite fighter. But if I'm being honest, and objective, that'd be Floyd Mayweather. Okay, Floyd or Ali, those would be the greatest fighters of all time to me. All right, so yeah, subscribe, help a young brother grow on YouTube. All right, okay. And I'm doing a yeah. I did a video on the greatest of all time called Kanye West. I what I uploaded that video, watched it, and realized how poor it was. So I'm gonna try to do a better breakdown of Kanye West being the greatest of all time. So be on looking for that. All right, see ya.